Hey, so welcome back to the channel, guys. So today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm actually coming down to my local football club, uh, down at the, uh, the community stadium, Persian Town Football Club, are playing their friendly against uh, Redditch United. So this should be a really good game. Um, it's a second game friendly they've played um, just before the start of the new season. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try my hand at photographing the game. I'm going to make my way into the ground now uh, and then find myself uh, somewhere to get set up. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a second. So guys, I'm in the ground now, and as you can see behind me, uh, the players already started warming up and uh, getting going. Um, as the grounds go, Pushwell Town is uh, pretty much a standard grassroots kind of uh, club. Uh, having a quick chat with the, the manager of Pushwell Town and the deputy Tom, and uh, they were saying how, how they've had uh, some professional grounds people in just to uh, give the pitch a new lease of life. Uh, in all honesty, it was um, looking a little bit dry at the end of last season, quite dusty in places. Um, so yeah, it looks like the guys they've got in have done a really good job. Um, I suppose the next thing though is uh, we have, we've been a bit short of rain of late, so unless we get some more rain, um, I'd hate to think that all this hard work and money's gone to, uh, gone to waste because it's uh, drying quite quickly. So fingers crossed though, uh, the ground will hold up for the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, looking forward to capturing some really interesting games as uh, Pershaw Town take on uh, season 22 to 23. Should be really good. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to get myself set up now, uh, get the camera gear out and uh, see about getting a few shots of the players warming up and uh, I'll tell you what I'm up to next. Catch you in a second. Well, that's a good result so far for Pershaw. Probably the first seven minutes and one nil up against uh, Redditch United, which um, are a considerably higher position team than Pershaw, so really good. I'm sure uh, Redditch United are going to put on some uh, pressure now, though. Oh, and as predicted, yeah, they put a lot of pressure now, uh, pushing high and uh, having a few attempts at goal. So, interesting times. So we've run about uh, 20 minutes into the game and uh, Pershaw are 2-0 up, which uh, is not bad at all. Um, I missed the uh, second goal, uh, one of the uh, substitutes was uh, having a quick chat with me and of course when you look in the other way something happens, that's always a game isn't it? So that's the uh, end of the first half and um, yeah, it's been a very interesting game between Pershaw Town and Redditch United. 
Uh, it's a friendly of course, but uh, tensions are definitely running high. There's been a few kicks of the ball out of play after the whistle had gone ages ago. Uh, lots of banter between the players and uh, perhaps one of the most enjoyable things for me is the, uh, is the random conversations I hear between the defenders and the linesmen. Uh, it always tickles me. So as the game's gone so far, yeah, it's been enjoyable. Um, struggling a little bit though with, um, with the lighting conditions and um, so I'm shooting with a kind of a relatively higher ISO. Um, however, the, uh, the evening light is now breaking from underneath the heavy cloud and so I'm getting the pitch in kind of like uh, patches of like really bright sunlight um, and other areas of like darkness which is uh, making the actual exposure of the image a little bit tricky for me as, uh, particularly as I'm panning with the action. So, the camera of choice for, for today's game got the, the Canon 70 Mark II which uh, I have a 400mm lens on um, typically using that for the far end of the pitch for corners and goal kicks um, and then for um, the rest of the play through the midfield and onto um, currently Pershaw's defending half um, I'm shooting on the 1DX Mark II with a 70-200 to 2.8 lens um, that gives me the flexibility really to capture the action from two thirds down the pitch all the way through the halfway line past me and onto the 18 yard line and then into the goal um, so yeah, that's the cameras I'm using, but uh, I think I'm going to take a few minutes, uh, stretch my legs and uh, get ready for the second half. Back in a minute. So that's uh, my second friendly of the season done so far. Well, second friendly of the pre-season done. Uh, game itself was good, enjoyed it. Um, plenty of action, um, a little bit further away than I was positioned unfortunately, but uh, you just have to make a, an educated guess of where the action is going to take place on the pitch. Um, but still, quite happy with the results so far. I had a quick look at the images on the back of the screen, on the back of the cameras, and it all looks good. Um, but I won't know until I get back home and uh, have a proper look. So, uh, some of the challenges I faced on this, I think uh, there's probably the change of light on the pitch um, as the sun set and as the, uh, the clouds lifted. Um, gave us some very uh, strong shadows. Um, and then halfway down the pitch, some bright light and some more strong shadows. So, uh, win some, lose some. We shall see how they come out in, in, uh, in post-process. If the images are any good, um, you would have seen probably a few of them already. But uh, I'll just put a quick selection of my favourites up on screen. And uh, I'd like you to uh, let me know which one your favourites are. Maybe give me a like in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hope you uh, like and enjoy the images produced. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So until the next game, take care. Bye-bye.